Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. July 23rd, Minkaye. Minkaye is a man with a history. Here's what happened. Missionary pilot Nate Saint and four other missionaries were killed when they tried to befriend the Waodani tribe, which at that time was known as the most violent society on earth. The Waodani culture was eventually changed by the gospel of Christ, brought to them by a small group of missionaries and a Waodani woman who had fled the tribe and later returned to teach her people about Jesus. Minkaye was one of the spear-wielding tribesmen who had killed the missionaries years earlier. On this date, in the year 2000, Minkaye was in the United States visiting Steve Saint when tragedy struck. When your life has been transformed, be intentional. Give back. Deep in the jungles of Ecuador, a Waodani warrior named Minkaye befriended a skinny nine-year-old boy named Steve Saint. Minkaye called him Bebe. Four years earlier, Minkaye and some other warriors had surrounded and murdered the boy's father, missionary Nate Saint. Now the boy had come back to the jungle to visit the current missionaries. The boy can't make poison darts or use a blowgun, Minkaye told the boy's aunt. He can't pull a canoe, he can't build a house or climb trees or track animals. He doesn't know anything. Who's going to teach him to live? The boy's aunt looked Minkaye in the eye and asked him, in light of the fact that Minkaye had speared the boy's father to death, who do you say should teach him to live? Minkaye walked away. When she had first told Minkaye about the Creator's son, Minkaye had said he could not see the Creator's trail. Then Jesus' blood cleaned him and Minkaye began to see like a clear sky with no clouds in it. Minkaye returned and told her, I, having spear killed his father, I myself will teach Bebe how to live. During school vacations, when Bebe visited, Minkaye treated him like family. The boy learned to hunt monkeys, to spear fish, and to climb tall trees. Minkaye helped Steve become a man. Later, Steve married and brought his family to live with Minkaye and his people in Ecuador. Minkaye adopted Steve's children as his grandchildren, and he even helped baptize them. They called him Grandfather Minkaye, a name Minkaye welcomed with a smile. After Steve's family moved to Florida, Grandfather Minkaye would visit them occasionally. During one of his visits, the unthinkable happened. Steve's only daughter, Stephanie, collapsed and was rushed to the hospital. She had suffered a brain aneurysm. As medical personnel rushed about, Minkaye became agitated while Steve sat frozen in disbelief. Minkaye grabbed him and said he saw what was happening well. Don't you see? The Creator, who loves Stephanie, is taking her to live with him now. Minkaye said, being an old man, I will go live there too very soon. Stephanie and I will be there waiting, happily, to greet you. The anguish on Steve's face remained, but the hopelessness faded. When it was time to return to the jungle, it was hard for Minkaye to leave. Steve and his family still had to do the hard work of healing from Stephanie's death, and Minkaye felt responsible for being part of the healing process. Still, Minkaye couldn't stay in Florida forever, so he returned to his village. One day, while back in the jungles of Ecuador, Minkaye had a premonition that Steve had been hurt. People told Minkaye that Steve was fine, but Minkaye asked them to phone America. Minkaye was right. Steve was involved in a tragic accident that left him without the use of his arms and legs. Minkaye and his wife traveled back to Florida where they cared for Steve and comforted his family. They stayed with the saints for six weeks. One Sunday, Minkaye went to church with the family. Steve sat in a space reserved for wheelchairs, and when it was time for communion, Minkaye rushed to help him. 
He grabbed one handle of the wheelchair and Steve's son, Jamie, grabbed the other. Three generations made family by the blood of Jesus celebrated communion together. As Minkai prepared to return to the jungle, Steve was filled with sadness. There was a time when he had longed for the presence of his father, whom Minkai had killed. Now he longed for the presence of the man who killed his father, Grandfather Minkai, the man who taught him how to live. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2 says, Walk in the way of love. Just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. This story teaches us that God's love can turn enemies into friends and friends into family. When your life has been transformed, be intentional, give back. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. For today's story, we have a free one-page group discussion sheet available on our website. Please join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.